handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Keeneland Racecourse here on Friday. It is the 21st of April, 2023. Going to look at the ninth race from Keeneland, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Get 5 for more selections for racecourses around the world, and I mean around the world. Some great racing tomorrow from Keeneland and uh, Oakland with the Oakland Handicap, and in the UK with the um, with the uh, Greenham hand, uh, Stakes at, uh, at Newbury. So just join me for that. Hopefully I'm better tomorrow. I've been, I, I've been either, I don't know if I have a cold or allergies. The symptoms are just a little bit crazy. I know it's not cold. It. So uh, let, let's uh, speed through this ninth race from Keeneland. It is the Double Dog Dare Stakes. Great three event. Going for a $300,000 purse. Race for Phillies and Mirrors. Four-year-olds and upwards. Field of eight horses taking a stroll around the Keeneland main track, which is 1,700 meters in circumference or the distance of ground of mile 16th on the Keeneland main track. 1,700 meters, a mile 116th. And the double dog dare. My top selection, I'm going to go with the number, where are we? I'm going to go with the number four horse, Interstate Daydream. I'm going to go 4273 in the Super Facta. 4273 Super. Top selection of four horse, Interstate Daydream. This um, four year old played by Classic Empire, Brad Cox trains, Florent Giroux gets to mount. The horse's most recent outing came the 11th of March at Oakland, a mile 16th in the grade two is Ari Stakes. And the horse finished third by three and three quarter lengths that day. And he just kind of stalked all the way around the race course never had the turn of foot just a little bit flat that day probably need the race second off the bench not the world's toughest horse it could be more into it early on i think the horse could win and run a good race here today she got beat by secret oath and clarier two horses that ran terrific races last week in the apple blossom handicap and i think are going to be a, if those two horses keep meeting up this season gonna be an exciting uh distaff division um two back the horse ran in late august at parks Mile 70 in the Catherine, uh, in the Catherine Sophia stakes, and she um, finished second by two and three quarter lengths that day. She set the pace. She caught caught late by Green Up, who really closed up from nowhere to get a good trip to win with a hundred buyer. This horse came well, this horse came home with a 94 buyer. She just couldn't keep up, but again she ran her heart out there. And then the Indiana Oaks at Indiana, a mile 16th on the 19th uh, on the 9th of July, she won by two and a quarter lengths from her tracking trip. She really took off clear a 94 buyer. Again, th- that's been her uh, you know go to buyer speed figures. Very good run for her there and then the black eyed susan won by one quarter lengths and a little bit of a wide trip that day but she kept home grinding it a very very good run started here at keelan once that came in last year's ashland where she finished third bay in a quarter lengths and that swallowed her up cocktail mo- moments really ran a good place this horse she just got beat by slightly better horses on the day training well at oakland refreshing here second off the bench I'm going to use her on the ticket as a top selection. The two horse green up, you have to use also. And the Cotillion, she just saw tough horses throw that race out. That was her last start. Prior to that, in the Catherine Sophia, she saw lesser quality horses. Came home with 100 buyer, winning by three and three quarter lengths from a tracking trip. She caught an interstate uh, daydream that day. That was a very good run for her there. And then the Boiling Springs at Monmouth, Mile 70 in the 3rd of July. Winning by five and three quarter lengths. Only had uh, three other rivals that day, but she basically had a very easy trip 24 and 3 to the first quarter 49 and 1 112 and 2 you're going to win off of those fractures on the front end she did that just that first time around two turns training well the Pletcher winter base at Palm Beach I'm going to give her a shot here today not bad for a $10,000 purchase in October 2020 um, since the $10,000 purchase they um this horse has proved that she could uh, really run good races 275000 she's proved uh, she's made so far in the bag so not bad at all uh, but to recap my selection for the ninth now from Keeneland it is the grade 3 double dog dare let's take the 4 horse interstate daydream give kudos to the 2 horse green um, up uh, where are we 4273 super 4 two in your multi-race so good luck to one please follow me on twitter at horse racing catch five good luck everybody